Hello and welcome to the Lazy Craig Show. Today I'm going to talk to you about upcoming reboots and why people actually hate reboots. First of all, I'm going to talk quickly about all of the reboots that are upcoming. Uh, this was spurred on by the Roswell trailer being released uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday. Because if you don't know, the CW Network are actually rebooting Roswell into a new series. They're making it with uh, older characters um, where they're not high schoolers anymore. They're, they're adults with jobs and lives. Um, and... I watched the trailer yesterday and it was out of garbage. <laughs> Absolute garbage. Uh, I love Roswell. Absolutely love Roswell. Uh, I, it was one of my favourite shows. I, I watched as much of it as possible. And this trailer was absolute hot garbage. I can't believe... I, I mean, I, I was opposed to the remake when I heard they were remaking it because it's such a good show. Um, and the trailer did not disappoint me with how bad it was. Honestly. The acting alone is awful. They and, and they've done the stupid thing where they've tried to make the characters uh, look and sound like the originals. Instead of trying something new, they've tried to match it, but not match it that well. Um, but it's ridiculous. It looks bad. Uh, I might give it a couple of episodes, but I don't, I don't think... I, th I think... I mean, I think if the, uh, the show is anything like the trailer, it's going to be a bad, bad show. Second... Uh, I, I'm going to talk about the Charmed reboot. The I found out I, there was an extended uh, look at the show released about two months ago. It's also on the CW. Um, this will be with... Uh, I learned her name. I actually looked up her name before I filmed so that I could uh, so I'd get it right. Uh, it's like, I think it's Madeline Mantock. Um, she was in Into the Badlands. She played Vale. Um, and if you watch Into, Into the Badlands, then she is Sonny's girlfriend and baby mama. Um, she was also in The Tomorrow People uh, as, I think her name was Astrid. Uh, she was um, Robbie Amell's character's friend. And The Tomorrow People itself was actually a reboot of a British TV show called The Tomorrow People. So she, she likes reboots. Um, and I watched the extended look. It's about five minutes long. And if I'm honest, it looks okay. It doesn't look anything special. It, it's not, it doesn't look as bad as the Roswell one, but it doesn't look good either. Um, again, I'll give it a go because I love Charmed. And I, I wish it was still on now. Although it's been quite a while now, so they're all a bit older. Um, but it, that was a good show. Um, so yeah, CW doing two reboots. And then news came out as well, a couple of days ago, that they will be doing a Buffy the Vampire Slayer reboot. Which is annoying, because I love Buffy the Vampire Slayer too. And Buffy the Vampire Slayer is one of the all-time great shows. And the fact that they're doing a reboot is ridiculous. They're not, I mean, they're not even doing reboots of things that are that old, to be honest. I mean, Roswell Chan, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, all past 20 years. They don't need reboots. We don't need reimaginings. Um, which is it's ridiculous. Uh, you know, some reboots have been good, some reboots have been bad. Um, for the for the sake of um, uh, calling them reboots, well, I'm not going to use. Uh, I'm not going to say uh, about TV shows based on movies. They don't count as reboots, and I'm not going to. I oh, know, but I will count uh, the Bond movies and Doctor Who. Because even though they don't reboot properly, they're soft reboots. Uh, a soft reboot is where they just reboot the character, essentially. They don't really change everything, they just reboot the character. Um, obviously with Doctor Who, they do it with change, uh, the regeneration when they change actors. And with uh, Bond, they do it with changing actors. Um, and so I'm going to use both of those as examples when I talk about why people hate reboots. Um, because, obviously, uh, when it comes to Bond, talk of the next Bond dominates uh, the, some of the reasons why people hate reboots. And then, obviously, the new Doctor Who casting with Jodie Whittaker, there's a reason people hate will hate reboots there, too. And now we'll come into play. But 
within regards to successful reboots as well, there's been Hawaii Five O. That's very successful. It's lasted like seven, eight seasons now on uh, CBS. Uh, there was also the Battlestar Galactica reboot, which was amazing. And um, Lost in Space on Netflix, which was quite good as well. And it has got a second season. So they're reboots that were successful. Um, so not all reboots suck. You know, there have been failures along the way. The Wonder Woman TV series, you know, it wasn't until the movie that they actually made Wonder Woman good. The uh, Bionic Woman, uh, where they tried to remake it with that in the English actress uh, who played Zoe in EastEnders. And they obviously did Knight Rider. Uh, oh, yeah, they've done MacGyver as well. They did a MacGyver reboot, which still going strong, even though it was a bit rubbish. Because nothing compares to Richard Dean Anderson. Come on. He's a dreamboat. <laughs> um, but no, yeah. Um, yeah, that's the... the so, that, yeah, they're reboots that haven't, you know, haven't been successful. I mean, I didn't like MacGyver, so even though it's successful, I, I consider it a failure of a reboot because it was rubbish. And now what I'm going to talk about now is pretty much the main reason for the video is why people hate reboots. Uh, there are multiple reasons why people hate reboots. I'll go over as many as I can think of, as many as I remember, because, you know, my mind messed up. Um, and I will, I, I will even say which reasons are actually legitimate reasons to hate some, a reboot and which are not legitimate in the slightest. Because I'm sorry, but certain reasons for hating something don't count. They, 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 your personal hatred, that doesn't count. So, num one reason... Which I think is the main reason people hate reboots. Nostalgia. We, we liked these things when we were younger. Because for a lot of people, the people, main, main people hating these were people who were young at the time. Like between, say, 7 and 20, when these things were actually on properly. It's nostalgia. People don't like their childhoods being messed with or their younger years being messed with at all. You know, we don't. They don't like seeing fresh takes on things. I'm that way. I, th I think some things are so perfect, they don't need reboots. We don't need reimaginings. You want people to bring people to it, new people to it, just, just re-release it. Show it again. Let people experience it. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, for instance. Buffy the Vampire Slayer was amazing. I loved Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I bought all the seasons on, on, on video, VHS. Uh, and in case you're watching this and you're too young to know what a video is, it's a box like this. Um, they don't make them anymore. <laughs> they don't make video recorders anymore. So if you've got one, you're a bit screwed. Um, I mean, if you've got a video, you can't play it without a video recorder. Um, and I bought the DVDs. I, and I bought Angel too, because I loved Angel. I, I had both, all all the DVDs, all the videos. Um, although with the DVDs, I've got like the, the, the one, the big set with all of it. So in that situation, Buffy doesn't need remaking. But yeah, it is nostalgia. When Battlestar Galactica was being made, there were people who, who, who watched Battlestar Galactica when they were younger, when, like in the 60s or 70s. I, forgot, I can't remember. It was old. Um, and people hate, didn't like it then, but it turned out amazing. You know, people just don't like their younger years being messed with. It's nostalgia, you know. And, and, and one of the things as well is that sometimes we remember things wrong. Like something like uh, one, for instance, like now Cartoon Network, Cartoon Network are chain, uh, doing reboots of loads of cartoons from people's younger years. And people are saying, no, no, you don't need reboots. They're rubbish. The new ones are rubbish. So when they see them, they say, yeah, they're rubbish. And, and the thing is, right, it's not that they're rubbish. It's that you're older. Like what you like certain things as a kid. You like certain things as a young person. You might not like them now. Like for instance, if they when they do remake Buffy, it could be a great show. It could be a great show, but I might not like it, you know, because of the fact that I've grown to an age where I wouldn't like that kind of thing. But I mean, who we can? I'm definitely gonna like Buffy. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch every episode, even if it's crap, because I love Buffy the Vampire Slayer, you know. Um, or maybe I will just rewatch the original one. <laughs> it's probably probably the best that way. Um. So yeah, it's like oh yeah, with the cartoons, yeah, they, they, you watch those cartoons when you were a kid. You thought they were awesome because you were a kid. Now you don't think they're good because you're a grown adult, and grown adults don't like cartoons. That's how it is. If you like cartoons and you're an adult, there's something wrong up here in there. You know, like you you got you've got to look at it a different way. Why are you liking cartoons as a kid? The, the, the only acceptable cartoon to like 
is an adult cartoon, like Rick and Morty, or South Park, or, or what other adult cartoons there are. I don't know, I don't look into the cartoon world about, you know. I'm just saying, like, you shouldn't be liking cartoons as an adult. So obviously, you're going to hate everything Cartoon Network puts out, because they're for kids. They're not for you, they're for kids. Whether you liked it as a kid or not is irrelevant. They're not doing it for you. It's just like with The Incredibles now, they did a sequel to The Incredibles. If you don't like the sequel, that's because you're an adult now. You liked the first one when you were a kid. I watched the first one for the first time six months ago. And it's only because I thought, yeah, there's a second one coming out. I may as well. And I watched it with my son. I thought it was a good movie. You know, for a, it's still a good movie for an adult. You know, but there's a lot of adult themes in it, in all fairness. But yeah, this is why people don't like re reboots. Because of nostalgia, you know. It's just a weird thing, right? Now, for the second reason that people don't like reboots. And in my opinion, and probably in the opinion of most people, it's not a legitimate reason. Because it's one born out of mm, hatred and uh, bigotry. That's the word, bigotry. Now... I'm going to talk now. I'm going to talk about Doctor Who and James Bond because of this. Doctor Who recently, re well, I say recently, it was like last year. Well, who no, knows? It was at Christmas. Reject, like they they hired a new Doctor Who, Jodie Whittaker, a woman, and straight away, as soon as she was cast, people, internet words, boo, 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 boo. no, 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 there's no Doctor Who shouldn't be a woman. Doctor Who's a man. Blah 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 blah. Uh, Doctor Who's a fucking alien who regenerates. It can be anything. It can be a giant purple dildo, to be honest. It's, it's stupid. It's, it's an illegitimate reason. It's hatred. It's disgusting. I'm just like, I, there was a, a post uh, on Twitter where uh, uh, someone uh, posted a quote from Jodie Whittaker saying, uh, it's okay to look up to women. And I posted, uh, I actually, I, I wrote, um, I can just imagine all the men raging at this comment now. And then in comes a guy saying, um, oh, I forgot what he said. His comment was that irrelevant. What did he say? He said, I, I forgot the first thing he said, but then he said, what she meant was it's okay to look down to women. And then I looked through his post history on Twitter and it's all spewing hatred for the doctor. Or because it's a woman. And it's not because he doesn't like the actress. It's because it's a woman. Like, he posted a picture of, of the TARDIS painted pink with flowers hanging down the side. He posted a picture of a new, uh, the new, um, the one thing. <laughs> the magic, um, I forgot what it was called now. What was it called? I forgot. I might have to put the name below. I have to Google it, I think. But, you know, every doctor has a new one. Um, oh, I forgot the name. God damn it. See, I forget everything again. Um, but yeah, he posted a picture of a new one and it was actually a dildo. Come on, seriously. And and this isn't just like this one person either. It's like, I'm on a few forums. One of the forums went crazy. The second she was announced, they went crazy. No, no woman should play the doctor. No, no, no. Doesn't matter how good she is. They hate her already. She could be the most fantastic goddamn doctor in the history of Doctor Who. And they hate her just because she's a woman. Ghostbusters for as well. They were doing a reboot. Ha people hated it before it was even made. They hated it because it was being remade with women. They didn't hate it because it was crap. They hated it because of women. They hated it before an ounce of footage was shown. And yeah, it wasn't the best of movies, but it was entertaining and funny as hell. Kate McKinnon was incredible. I love Kate McKinnon. She's hilarious. So their problem wasn't with the reboot and their nostalgia. Their problem was women. You know, if they had said, oh, yeah, no, the original Ghostbusters was perfect. We don't need, you don't need to make another one. That, that's fine. But they didn't say that. They said, it shouldn't be remade with women. They should make it with men. And, it, uh, you know, and it's the same with James Bond. James Bond, uh, obviously, uh, Daniel Craig has said, I think the next one's going to be his last one. Um, and one of the main men in, in the running for the role, Idris Elba. Fantastic actor. Fantastic British actor. You know, and people want a British actor. And he is one of the best we've got. But guess what? Have you seen Id Idris Elba? Have you ever seen him? Can you guess what people's problems are with him? Is it because he doesn't sound proper Queen's English? Nope. It's because he's black. That's it. 
because he's black. Because they think the Bond can only be black. Well, guess what? James Bond is a code name. It's not a single person. It's a code name given to different people. Okay? Whether people want to believe that or not, that's how it is. The fact that they've changed the actor so many times shows that it's a, it's a code name. Okay? It, just think of it as Doctor Who. Think of James Bond as as a whatever racist people are. Time Lord. That was it. I thought it was something more complicated then. Um... You know, he regenerates, but we don't see it, okay? He can regenerate. He can, be a, he can be a man. And people don't want a woman either. They don't want Jane Bond. They want a man only. Um, it's absolutely ridiculous. They hate it. Oh, oh yeah, say, actually, let me go back to Battlestar Galactica. Starbuck was a man in the original series. In, in the remake, a uh, reboot, a woman. People moaned at that too. People, and, even, and it was a fantastic show. She was great. Katie Sackhoff was amazing again uh, and people will complain because it was a woman and it's just an illegitimate reason because they, they have this preconceived notion of what a character is supposed to be they don't accept that a character is just a character that can be anything else it can be a woman, it can be a black person it can be an Asian person, it can be a Hispanic person it doesn't matter as long as the person doing the, the, the job in the role it is doing a good job and is the best choice for that role at that time because of their acting ability. It doesn't matter what they are. You know, they could be a purple glob of goo if they're doing a fantastic job acting. Amazing. It doesn't matter, honestly. But people are more It's so not the right reason to hate reboots. It's not. The right reason to hate a reboot is because of nostalgia and because sometimes they're crap. But the thing is, let them make the reboot. Judge it once it's out. Don't judge it beforehand. Like I said, Roswell looks crap, but I'm going to watch the hell out of it for a few episodes until I decide whether it's crap. It might it might just be a bad trailer, you know? Um, and there's something else as well, another reboot. Oh, with the Buffy reboot. Um, they're saying they're going to make uh, Buffy black. People are moaning about that too. They've gone from moaning about a Buffy reboot to moaning that it's a black Buffy. Like... And I, you can bet your ass they're saying, there were no black vampire slayers. Hmm, Kendra, maybe? Come on. Stop moaning about reboots like that. Moan about a reboot because it's a crap reboot. Moan about it because it's, it's rubbish. Don't moan about it because of who they cast. They could be... You don't know. You don't know. Look at, look at Spider-Man, the movies. Essentially, they've rebooted it a few times. Tobey Maguire, first of all. Then Andrew... Andrew I don't know, he's brave. Garfield, Andrew Garfield, the cat. Uh, then Tom Holland. Tom Holland, fantastic job. Great Spider-Man. <laughs> that's a re that's a great reboot. Um, so, I'm so and, and like, literally, those, re those two reasons I, I've said, the nostalgia, and then the pre- No, nostalgia, preconceived notions of what the character should be like, according to what they think it should be, and bigotry. Those are the three reasons that people hate reboots, okay? They don't hate it for any other reason. Because my hate, I'm, the hate I'm on about is before it comes out. Once it comes out, you can hate it for whatever reason you like. As, as long as you can back it up. You know, if you're going to say, I don't like it because it's crap. Well, yeah, maybe it is crap to you. But it might not be crap to anyone else. But if you're saying it's crap because it's because of, of the cast... Because of who they cast, because of what they look like, that's rubbish. If you're saying it's because they're a bad actor or bad actress, that's fine. They don't have to be. A, if, if 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 they're bad at acting, then yeah, it's going to be a crap reboot. But don't be angry at a reboot because of, they cast a black person when you think the character should be white. The characters. It's called artistic license, after all. You can make the character whatever you want the character to be. Don't moan about it. I, it makes me wish I was in the film industry because I would reboot everything that everyone loves and make the characters as diverse as possible. Like, what? Um, what's the whitest character I can think of? You know what? Yeah, I'd make a World War II movie with black Jewish Hitler. No, wait, he was Jewish already, wasn't he? With a black lesbian as Hitler. Yeah? Yeah, you'd all hate that, wouldn't you? And then I'd laugh as all the hate comes in. Uh, Hitler was white, blah, blah, and a man, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Guess what? Get over it. They're making reboots. They always do. Hate it because it's crap. Not because you don't like who they cast. Or because of what colour they, they are or what sex they are. If you're going to hate a reboot, give it the right reason. So there are the reasons people hate reboots. 
Two of them completely wrong. No, one of them's a completely no. They're both two of them completely wrong reasons. The bigotry and the preconceived notions. They're wrong reasons. You can't hate a reboot because of that. Only hate it because it's crap. Once it's out, too many people judge things before they come out, and they're amazing. Like there are plenty of things that I've I've seen that I thought would be crap, and I've loved every second of them. I can't remember what they are because I watch way too many things. But that's it. So that's my talk on reboots. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you were. Tell me what you think about reboots. Tell me about what you think about what I've said about reboots. Uh, watch my previous videos. They'll be up here. Uh, like, subscribe. Follow me on social media. I hope you have a good day. And tell, also tell me what you, all think, what you think about the upcoming reboots. Charmed, Roswell and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So yeah, do that. And I'll see you later. Bye.